there's plenty of Memphis pride to celebrate, so much so there are two gay pride events. The reason might not be so surprising to you. Organizers of Tri-State Black Pride tell me the feeling of exclusion led to the creation of an annual event for the black and brown queer community. But after 30 years, it's grown into an event rich with parties and parades, of course, but more importantly, valuable services for a community often underserved. Songs of Soul has said that music unites us all. That's Arnisha King performing at a past Tri-State Black Pride concert at Memphis's Levitt Shell. The show, but one of many events held during Tri-State Black Pride for 30 years now. It started through uh, a gentleman named Terrell Buckner about 25 years ago. And um, these are his words, that he started because there wasn't an inclusive place for the black LGBTQ community to convene in Memphis during Pride Month. Gwendolyn Clemens is one of the directors of Tri-State Black Pride. So instead of, you know, continuing to knock on the door to, to be let in, he decided to uh, start his own. The other pride, known as Mid-South Pride, welcomes the LGBTQ plus community from all over the area and hosts a large parade and festival each year. There is a difference between the two prides. It's, our pride is not an act of exclusion. Uh, or that we want to separate ourselves from miss our pride. But what it is, it's, it's also an opportunity for us to showcase the black LGBTQ community and the needs that we have. Gwen's son, David Clemens, and co-director of Tri-State Black Pride says each year the event becomes more intentional in purpose. It's important once you get to partying, in the parades, all the above, you have to have money and resources. So we are providing this job fair uh, to our people, to employ them, to empower them. While he's excited about the progress the queer community has seen, he says many doors remain closed. We still don't receive the same funding that they receive as of today. We have companies here in the city who deny us and tell us no major corporations who employ plenty of black folk. Kayla Gore is a trans woman constantly advocating for the trans community. She's been the victim of violence because of her gender. One instance of violence that I experienced here in Memphis was being stabbed and having my hand slit open. Vital medical and counseling resources she found through the Tri-State Black Pride helped her with her recovery. There are different prides that happen throughout the year, but this particular pride is about black unity, about black pride, about people uh, getting to understand and know that our community deserves to be able to celebrate. After the music stops and the lights come up, Pastor Darnell Gooch says it's the work of the heart that led him to help organize Tri-State Black Pride. Uh, there were some issues that were unaddressed uh, in the LGBTQ community, uh, acceptance, uh, love, um, being able for people to be their authentic selves, uh, being able to thrive uh, without the negative stigma, uh, some of the other nuances that go along with that. Well, Tri-State Black Pride welcomes the entire community and holds those educational events with health services for the LGBTQ plus community. Tri-State Black Pride is June 16th. The big finale is June 19th with the music festival at Levitt Shell featuring headliner Trina.